man. Ah! Ah, go! Ah, the hell is this? Ha! New ride we borrowed from the Niths. This will get us in close. Serious? Here she comes. I got this. Okay. I can. Then it's up to you. All right. Won't be long. What? What is the? This is just a lance. Moment I saw her, I knew we'd go places. Not again. Not making this easy. Hold on tight. Well, it's just block and counter quick saves. Uh, quick, quick times. Well, that didn't work. Well, now what? Okay, now we fight Leviathan. I guess. So the only way you'll help me is if I take you down? What? What do? Wow. Okay. This is cool looking. I don't know where I am. Okay, point warp. I- that's through a building. What- what now? I'm gonna hit you in the face, I guess. Point warp onto that, because reason, point warp on- What is going on?! <laughs> Alright, how do we point warp to any high ground? I don't see any. There- there we don't go. What do? There we go, got it. And then back to Leviathan's face for reasons, and then we point warp- I- what is this? Are we even supposed to be hitting it? Alright, I'm getting it occasionally. I... okay. I don't get what's... I don't... This honestly feels like a... Oh, I got it. I don't know what I got. I don't know when it happened. is fulfilled all enthralled to darkness shall know peace how 
sweet. But please, Lady Luna Freya, you first. All right, so we've gotten Super Saiyan. Going to go back to hitting Leviathan in the face, seeing as that seems to be what I am capable of doing right now. We are using our... We are using our... I... I seem to have unlimited mana for this. I... This is... It's almost as nice as cinematic. I think the biggest problem is I don't get it. All right, I took off a, a nobule. All right, Leviathan, I hope you didn't like that hair frond thing. I, I'm blowing, I'm shooting at it. This is new. Where'd this come from? I have no idea. Well, I guess I'll just keep shooting at it forever. Seeing as that works. All right, this is some, I, are we, we're just shooting at it. We're not even attacking anymore, I give up. I'll just keep shooting at it for a second and then hit it in the face, I guess, or something, I don't know. I, uh, I swear I saw this in an anime, like, uh, many times. Alright, I, I guess we go back to, um... What? I did- I- I'm just holding circle at this point. I am just holding circle. I'm- I'm hitting it, I think. I'll hold R1 in circle. I think that's probably the- the way to do it. Okay, maybe we have to hold- press R1 every once in a while to focus in on the target. Yep, alright, Leviathan's gone. There's Leviathan. Hi, Leviathan! I'm gonna hit you in the face and then go back to shooting you in the face. Because I don't know what the plan is here, but... Clearly this is just a, uh... I'm auto-battling right now. This- yeah, I'm- I'm literally just pressing R1 in circle right now. We're, like, dodging half the attacks. It seems kind of meaningless. All right, there we get. We did we did a warp strike, and now we're back to just shooting it a bunch because things. I don't know. I'm hitting it, I guess. It doesn't do damage to me. It doesn't do shit. Well. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep doing this. Oh no, you're doing 20 damage to me. I heal instantly. Hi, Leviathan. Back to blasting you with a bunch of things. Oh, no, you got tornadoes now. Or, I'm sorry, typhoons. There's a bit of a difference. Oh, that that hurt. That hurt a lot. I'm... Well, I... We got knocked over, I guess? I... Okay. Now we break the other frond. Yay. Alright. I hope you didn't like that this horn thing. Are we done? We're not done yet. Alright. Well.
I... Yep. This is fighting. I... Yep, this is fighting. We are fighting with a sword minigun. Our fiance is dead, and we decided to go Super Saiyan on a snake. I'm a little bit curious what would happen if you failed these. Well, that was cool. Noctis. Uh, uh, Luna? So, you found your way here. <laughs> and you found me. A chance to see you once more. <laughs> Who would have thought? Well, what do you mean? Why wouldn't you see me? Because my prayers have been answered. My calling fulfilled. But that doesn't have to come between us. You are the one, Noctis. The stars shine for you now. That which is yours by right shall be restored to you. Do you remember the flowers of Tenebrae? It seems so long ago. You'll find they await you still, looming from hill to vale. Will you be there? that I could join you. But this moment will have to be enough. It's not right. All I... All I wanted was to save you. When the world falls down around you and hope is lost. When you find yourself alone amid a lightless place. Look to the distance. Know that I am there. And that I watch over you always. Yeah, 
golem. <laughs> my, <laughs> it was such a my precious moment. <laughs> Back with us. I'll tell the others. Though it may take a bit. You're hurt. A oh, small sacrifice in the greater battle. And Luna? She has passed. <gasps> Umbra left that for you. So Luna's dead. Ignis is blind? Wow, that lighting. What is even going on there? What has Ignis got in his on his face? Is that a glove? I have no idea. Fish. Chapter 10, The Heart of the King. Of a King. Across the water and onto the rails, the royal retinue makes for Gralia, the imperial capital. Their objective, reclaiming the crystal. That they might reclaim their homeland. However, the ring's weight proves too much for Noctis to bear. Well. Feels like Final Fantasy VII. So my problem here is, we haven't had enough time to, like, get used to Luna as a character. And we've, like, developed no emotional connection to her, really. Apart from, like, I guess if you watch the movie. Um, so, like, her death, while tragic, feels really weird because... She, I mean, at this point, she's been this glorified MacGuffin. We finally get there and she dies off. Which I guess is the point, but, like, they really needed to have developed her more. I'm honestly more upset that Ignis is blind. Because at least Ignis has been developed as this, like, cool, confident character that's part of your party. Like, what's the deal with Ignis now? I don't know. <laughs> Why is that going to be a DLC expansion thing? 
Like, that's hot garbage. Show me. Don't just, like, show me in a cutscene. Like I mentioned, for anybody that never plays the actual later stuff. Scourge of the Stars, yay. Part 2, I guess. I don't know. So, we're going to roll through Tenebrae. Not before visiting the royal tomb at Gartanico. Oh, uh, you're sure you're up to that? The wounds have mended. I say it's a matter of time. The hell is wrong with you? What? We're not stopping in Tenebrae. You need to grow up and get over it. I am over it. I'm here, aren't I? <laughs> Maybe when you're not too busy moping, you can look around and give a shit about someone worse off than you. Let go of me. How's that ring fit you? You rather carry it around than wear it? <laughs> she gave her life so you could do your duty, not so you could sit around feeling sorry for yourself. You don't think I know you that? You don't! Ignis took one for you, too. And for what? Enough! Gladio. You think you're a king, but you're a coward. Shut up! Don't do this! I... <sighs> I get it, all right? I get it! Then get a grip. Pull your head out of your ass already. <sighs> Knocked! Leave him. Noctis is free to roam about the train until it pulls into the station. Oh goody, I can't save yet. We'll be on foot in Gartanica. Those men in black are spooking me out. Shh, don't talk about others. Can I go into any of the other cars? I can check something? What can I check? Not that. Oh, an emergency stop. Thanks. Alright. Passing the Oracle. The or Oracle, Lady Lunafrey of Tenebrae. Lost her life when her summoning of the Hydrain went terribly awry. Lady Lunafreya was swept under the Altitian waves alongside her fiancé, Crown Prince, prince Noctis of Lucius. Despite falling unconscious for several days, the prince made a miraculous recovery and is currently being treated. This train is ancient. It weirds me out in this game that... Um, that, like, the Empire, which is supposed to be this, like, magic technology, whatever thing, which is supposed to be really cool, has, like, ancient trains. Like, give me futuristic stuff, please. Or fantasy stuff. Don't give me, like, uh, mid-50s junk trains. I don't know. Uh, whatever. Okay, Tree of Castino. Scientists have yet to provide a sound explanation why the... Resource-rich Fudina Castino has been overrun by an enormous tree. 
Some experts insist, however, that this floral phenomenon may have been a paranormal prelude to the awakening and annihilation of the gods. Wow, they are pretty gung ho about that. How much longer? Not long, dear. Yeah, Coltrane, <sighs> print newspaper. Seriously, though. Other point is, like... Noctis's fiancé just got killed off. Childhood friend and fiancé just got killed off. And Gladio's like, grow up! And it's like, you know what? No, at, at this point, maybe maybe it's alright for him to be I really fucking sad. Looking at her. I wasn't looking at anyone. Like, I know that, I know Noctis is supposed to be all like, you know, focused on his duty and stuff, but damn. I, it's hard to not, it, like, it's hard to actually grow to dislike these, or it's, it's not hard to quickly dislike these characters, because it's just like, they don't get enough, they get a lot of, like, weird banter on the side, but when it actually comes to main plot stuff, and interactions, the characters... Wait, so he just gets randomly killed off off camera? Still no sign of Lady Luna Freya anywhere. It's not looking good. What I wouldn't give to see her again. They really cut out a lot of game here. Like a lot of game. It's really weird. If they charge us an arm and a leg for this slop, that's imperial quality for you. Should have let a chef from a cordo handle the case. Like, I love Final Fantasy games, but man, I feel like I'm reading a book that's missing half of its chapters that were picked out at random. And that is a weird and unfortunate feeling. To the dining car? I might actually spend more time wandering up and down this train than I did fighting Leviathan. I'm definitely pressing more buttons than I did when I was fighting Leviathan. Like, I like the fact that this is an all-male cast and, you know, it's supposed to break the mold of, like, all Final Fantasy games. Anything in Cartanica worth stopping for? Uh, doubt it. But we'll be there long enough to find out. But, man... Oh wait, no, th we've already read this one, haven't we? Yeah. Let's see, he's been sad for weeks, that's why Gladiolus is mad. If Shell died tomorrow, I'd be sad for the whole year. Probably the next, you know, rest of my life. But I'd definitely be pretty damn useless for at least a very long time. We get there? Uh, we're almost there. Oh, the outside of the train looks okay. Okay, never mind. Wow. It's rusty and awful looking. Shell is listening and says, better be the rest of your life. All right. We'll amend it to that. Uh, amend it to that. All right. That was off the rails, I guess. All right. Well, I'm poor as shit, you probably. heading into the mine. Best go prepared. Oh, it's actually kind of a decent sword. Yeah, these are decent weapons, and I need a ton of money to Come afford again. it. Back for more. All right. Um. Well, I'm poor as dirt. Honestly, I'm never going to use any of these anyway. I know you're supposed to use these for magic. I'm not even going to bother with those, come to think of it. 
but I don't use magic in this game. And probably never will, because I don't like it. So let's just sell everything and be done with it. Uh, or sell everything and actually have enough money to afford weapons, which I do use constantly. Uh, nah, won't bother with those. Broken harmonicas. Yeah, I don't know what we're supposed to do with a lot of these things. It's also really weird that they actually didn't integrate the, uh, the open world aspect of this game. Almost at all. Like, now that we're past the initial part, and we're... We're in these, like, weird instance zones where literally nothing matters. Like, it's really weird. Oh, wow, I could have just sold these and had a ton of money. But, like, do we do we even spend a whole lot of time in the open world past this point? Or is it just this, like, weird giant open area in the very beginning of the game and then we pretty much never do anything with that ever again? Because it kind of feels like that's going to be the case. Which is really weird and disconcerting. Okay, so Blood Sword would be cool, but there's no point in getting it. So I'm going to get Thunderbolt. Uh, let's see. Daggers, Flame Gun. Let's see. Do we get him the shield? We'll get him the shield. He does actually use his other weapons a little bit. Alright, Spirit. Yeah, so these are actually pretty decent. Oh, but none of these are the damage increasing ones. Come back again. Yeah, you can return to the open world with Umbra. But yeah, that's not my point though. Like, okay, with an open world game, what's a good example? Witcher. Witcher is always open world and there's always open world stuff that you can do with it. And, you know, it keeps things fresh and interesting and you know, keeps you exploring. This game made a very, very sizable open world that we will probably never really go back to, except for to just finish side quests. Oh, whoops. And I think that's kind of my grumple right now of... Yeah, the open world's totally gone. Then why have it in the first place? Just... Just cut it out, and... Everything will be fine. Like, make a... Hell, I'd play a linear game. Everybody made fun of Final Fantasy 15, Or, not 15. Uh... Final Fantasy 13 for being linear, but, like, I would actually rather have a linear game that doesn't feel weirdly empty. Because, like, this feels really empty. All of a sudden and like I'm probably actually gonna be able to beat it within the next like two or three settings if I want uh, sittings if I want to because I think there's actually like uh, 14 chapters total that's not much left actually I recommend finishing the game first and unlocks quite a lot of things actually I don't want to have to finish the game to get the rest of the game like, for me, once the final cutscene rolls, unless there's, like, actually plot stuff, I'm not touching this game again. Because it's not really lucrative to play past a certain point. Post-Leviathan, this game flies by. Pre-Leviathan, this game flew by. The only reason why it took so long to get here is because I was grinding and doing other stuff. Like... I'm suddenly actually, like, really angry about this game. We started the session with me talking about how much I liked it, but, like, right now... I'm, I'm looking at this and I'm like, this really wasn't worth it, the money that I threw at it. Because, like, yeah, you unlock a lot of things after you beat the game. A lot of harder enemies you can fight. But that's the thing. I don't want to do that. I want to have... When I, when I sit down and I play a Final Fantasy game, I want to have a really engaging story, fun gameplay, and you just play from start to finish. I don't want to have to go to the post-game to find the cool stuff. In fact, any game that's like, no, just wait until you beat the game, then the cool things happen. That is, that, why even have the game then? Just put me in the post game and just be like, all oh, this shit happened, but it doesn't matter because let's go fight things. Like, I'd actually rather have that. I'd almost rather have a game where you just play it in flashbacks, you get some really sweet cutscenes, and then you go back to kicking, kicking ass and taking names. And so this like weird beginning busy work section. 
weird chapters that don't have gameplay elements, and then... Like, missing plot points because they spent too much time detailing... an empty environment... Uh, to be filled with side quests, just so that people spend time on it. Like, make it 10 hours long and make it worth playing. Don't make it 50 hours long and barely worth playing. I don't know. I, I'm angry. Because, <laughs> boy, I don't know what the hell's what the hell just happened with any of that. And I'm just disappointed. Like, I played Final Fantasy X and I want to go play Final Fantasy X now. That's weird and wrong. <laughs> Because Final Fantasy X did a lot of things right, but boy were the characters hateable, and I never want to go back to it. But yeah, the DLC and further updates will will improve the game. Yeah! Like, I, I totally get that. Like, I, I totally get that they want to fix this game, and like, make it better and whatever. But like... I don't have time for that. I don't want to come back to this game later. To get the actual plot. I want the game to be finished when I'm playing through it. I don't I don't want to have to find out that, hey, here's a lot of cutscenes that explain the game that were added to the game after you beat the game, and by the way, if you want to play it again, well, here you go. How do we even get the DLC? F How do we download the DLC? What do we even do? I don't know. I'm very confused. Where's my DLC? What do we do? I, I've got the uh, season pass. Is that it? <laughs> I don't know. I'm losing my mind here. Uh I give up. All right. Well, I got the holiday pack plus, but how the heck do I get that? Maybe I have to go here. Okay. Holiday pack. All right, so this is how we get the DLC. So what's this do? An experience band, Warriors fanfare, and a t-shirt. Okay, and then there's Holiday Pack Plus, which gives me Ring of Resistance, Turbocharger, and some kind of accelerator thing. Okay. Anything else? Themes. So I think I have everything now. Okay, I think I already have these. Yeah, I guess I already have it. Wow. Wow. I don't know.